Reg, you should see this, man. The DUP's completely trashed this city. All the people are walking hunched over and nervous looking. Well, that's how martial law works. You control the city and the people by breaking them both down first. Yeah, well, occupying armies suck. You may want to keep that to yourself for now. That hit the spot. Reg, those uh, core relays we saw on the way here must have been cracked by all that destruction. This one's sealed up pretty tight. I doubt the DUP is going to let you borrow their keys. You're probably going to have to break them open. Oh, look, I just happen to have some mad new breaking skills. This is gonna be awesome. Look out below! <laughs> Not bad, huh? Hey, you wanna see it again?
Tasty. Ah, oh, yeah! Jeez, nice man. How many DUP guys are in this city? Yeah, well, luckily you have the advantage in numbers, my man. Uh, how do you figure that? Well, because one person can move around faster, lighter, quieter. Plus, it'll make them underestimate you. Not gonna know what hit them. You wanna do me a favor and explain that to them, so maybe they'll just give up? Why? Well, they right, got checkpoints and cameras on just about every corner. That's the benefit of having home field advantage. Except this isn't their home field. Try telling them that. Oh, God. Okay, so that way is not an option. It freaking worked! I gotta tell you, man, I think at the rate I'm going with the powers thing, I'm like one, maybe two away from storming her castle. Okay, why don't we slow down there, hotshot? I mean, she just destroyed an entire concrete and steel bridge, you remember? Right, so you're thinking one more's not gonna do it. That's what I'm thinking. Reg, man, you should see this place. It's completely deserted. No ferries going in or out. Or... Same thing at the airport and train station. Now that they got the bridge out, the DUP's got this town sealed tight. It's not going to be easy, is it? That's too bad I didn't think to mention that to you over and over during the last ten hours. I think the DUP does this to every town they get called to. Apparently, that's what they say. Why do people even put up with that? Because when it comes down to it, I'm 
folks aren't willing to trade life for liberty or the pursuit of happiness. Yeah, no, that can't be it. Uh oh, what about the fumes here? No secondhand smoke is bad for you. Reggie, I've used up all the core relays you sent, man. Come on, any more! No, man, that's all you get. I mean, this bioterrorist thing has you all worked up. You, you need to find some place to lay low and chill out for a while. What is it with you and laying low? I'm fine. I'm great. Give me more. No. Suck on no, this! I'm working on a possible lead with a detective on the SPD. But we're not moving forward until I'm convinced your head's on straight. Hey, okay, I'll lay low. Whatever the hell that means. Nelson, I've got some information on the DUP's communications network. Now, there's a central antenna so they can coordinate the movements of all the smaller districts. All right, any idea where this central communication thing is? Well, you did say you wanted to see it while you were here. Shut up, Space Needle? Space Needle. Man, a plan, and an aerosol can. 